Welcome to Pagan Coffee Talk, a traditional Wiccan podcast where we will discuss topics affecting the pagan community from a traditionalist perspective. The topics we discuss are picked from our magical hat, and the discussions are unscripted. The talks will be led by Lord Chase Knight Smith, Elder and High Priest of Third Degree, and he's joined by Hegan, First Degree Priestess. Pagan Coffee Talk is brought to you by Life Temple and Seminary. Welcome to Pagan Coffee Talk. I'm Keegan, and as always, Lord Knight. We are continuing with Reddit. Um, does candle magic work? Yes. Next. <laughs> what is the best way to connect with Odin? Instagram. <laughs> He's on. He's on Reddit too. He's on Reddit as well. He's on Twitter. Reddit too. Yeah. Uh, meditation. Meditation. Um. I want to get involved with witchcraft, but the thought of inviting something—I think they mean malice—scares me. Is there a way to protect myself against demons? Oh my God. Why would you want to? Here's my question. Okay, okay why do people right? automatically assume as soon as you cast a circle or something that, ooh, demons are involved? Why is that? What? <laughs> well, I mean, again, th I, I think this is more cultural than anything else. I... Too many bad horror movies. <sighs> But then I watch The Exorcist and laugh every time. You are abnormal. The Exorcist was scary. She spit out pea soup. It's hilarious. <laughs> I laugh every time and it just gets funnier. <laughs> it wasn't a comedy. Serious. It wasn't? <laughs> Only to you. Why are why why is that? Why what? Why are demons involved every time we cast a circle? Oh, you're gonna let the demons in. You're gonna let the demons they're, in. Oh, they're, they're, they're not. They're not. The truth is, the accounts of real possessions and stuff like that are actually quite low. Even haunted houses where you have malevolent forces, they're quite low. Hence the reason there's stories about them. Because it rarely happens. Because it rarely happens. If it happened all the time, nobody would care. Right. You know, that's like back in the day when I was younger. A convenience store got robbed. Ooh, big surprise there. No, <laughs> duh. <laughs> what? Why the demons? Why not every time I cast circle... All these light and wonderful spirits enter my space so I can't even get anything done. Why is it always something negative? I don't know. You know, I mean, that's not as bad as when people sit there and start talking about past lives and going, you know, in a past life, I did this, and now this time I got this, and this is why I can't see through my right eye. So what? It sounds like karmic belief. Well, I mean, it's this... I'm being punished for something I did in my, ba in my past No, life. no, it's this belief that you can't believe in good, but you can believe in something evil. That's exactly what it is. I see this through cultures all over the place to where I can believe in demon possessions, but I can't believe that there's loving beings out there. Right. I can believe in demons, but uh, angels, I ah, screw it. No, see, and I, that's what I was saying with the circle cast. Why is it always something bad? Well, I mean, then why does everybody assume that the circle's there to protect us? You tell me why people think that. I don't know. You know, could it be that the circle's there to protect what's ever on the other side of it? No. That couldn't be From it. From us? Could we be the bad influence? Absolutely not. We have the circle to protect us from all the demons that's going to get in when we cast circle. Uh -huh. Look, when I'm working with a Morgan, the last thing I am is scared of any demon. <laughs> really? Okay, really? go on in. Come <laughs> on in. For you. 
<laughs> Let's see how this works out for you. Good luck to you. <laughs> you know? It's just a suggestion, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I just don't understand where why the negativity and the salt. My God, these people are carrying around salt like it is going out of style. Why? Are you think you're going to be walking down the road? You're going to be attacked by some demon and the salt you're going to quit. I don't understand. I, I don't. Just... Well, I mean, I don't, I don't get these people who do this. You know, I have to cleanse my space once <laughs> a week or every day. Yes. I have to cleanse my ritual space every time I use it, which is daily. Uh, Why are what are you doing, doing in the space? <laughs> That's gathering that much negativity there. It's the demons. The demons. <laughs> Protecting ourselves psychically and all that when we're out and about. It's the same as, you know, I'd tell you to protect yourself from thieves, muggers, or whatever. Sure. Use common you know, sense. Use common sense. You know? Carry mace, not salt. <laughs> if you've got a piece of jewelry you can enchant with protective energies, great. Because there are bad things out there. I'm not going to pretend like there's not. Is salt going to help you with that? Do you care? Yeah, I Do mean, salt will help. Salt? No. <laughs> Why not? It's a mystery. Chris, <laughs> Do you have the salt? I'm going to Walmart. I've got it. I've got the salt. I, I got the salt. Well, no, so when I go to Walmart, I don't actually buy the salt. I just put it in the cart and carry it around with me while I'm there. <laughs> and when I go to the checkout line, I just set it off to the side when I'm done with it. <laughs> that way, all the negativity stays there. I was wondering where that pile of salt was coming from at the <laughs> checkout. <laughs> I just push it around the cart. Oh. I just push it around in the cart. You know, I don't. I don't even open it. I, I don't even pay for it. Just put it back up, right? As I'm about to go through the lines. Right. I tell the cat. I put it on the thing and look at the cashier. Go. Oh no, no, no. Never mind. I don't need Dude, that. Just, <laughs> take it off. Void that out. I, I just remember I got so. Another answer to the question, what do witches look like? We'll be the ones <laughs> pushing around the cart. <laughs> That's how you know we're yeah, us. Yeah, you, you know those people that buy the 50 pound bag of table saw? <laughs> God, I have lots of fault. We just push it around Walmart. Oh, God. Yeah. How convenient. Uh, First style I go to when I get into Walmart. <laughs> Oh, God. Who? You. Oh. Okay. Is there a reason ever have to carry around a vial of salt for protection? No. Ever in the history of the world is there ever? No. In case slugs attack. <laughs> it's attacking the killer slugs. <laughs> Okay, question. Here, here we go. I'm walking down the road past a cemetery on the Friday the 13th during a full moon. A demon jumps out of the cemetery and tries to attack me. <laughs> I, I take the salt and I quickly make a circle around me. Will that protect me from said demon? <laughs> <laughs> You're stretching there. Of course. <laughs> I don't think that'd work. You got too many things going against you. Oh. Are you going to do the hokey pokey too while you're doing that circle? Oh, you put your leg out, of course. Of course. Oh, my God. And you got to do the ritual, nah, 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 boo, boo, you can't get me. <laughs> the question is, and that's great. And if it works for you, that's that's awesome. But then what? You're going to stand there the rest of your life? 
at least till the demon goes away. <laughs> They're patient. <laughs> no, they'll stay there for hundreds of years. They ain't got nowhere to go. Yeah. It's midnight and sunrise ain't for another five hours. I'm going to stand right here. <laughs> Who said demons couldn't cross salt barriers? Mm. Okay. All right. I'm trying to learn how to meditate, but I'm having trouble visualization, visualizing, visualizing. Oh my God. What's the word? Say it. Visualization. Thank you. Any suggestions or tips? Start small. <clears throat> I mean, seriously, visualize a circle, then visualize a ball, visualize a triangle. Then visualize a pyramid. The majority of the times when people have this problem, they're trying to put in too much detail. So again, keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple. Just visualize yourself under a tree. Yeah, that's a good one to start with. Your brain will fill in the details. Uh, and do it frequently. Yes. That is a muscle you can actually work. Your visualization. Yeah. You can actually work that. Yeah. You can get really or, good. or, hey, do this. Remember when you were a kid and you used to, like, grab the towel and tie it around your neck and run around the house and pretend to be a super superhero? Try no, that. I was always the silver surfer, so mine was always, I was pretending I was on a surfboard. Let's uh, see. Do that. You need to get the creative juices flowing. One other technique that actually works real good, believe it or not, is to find a household item, sit down and think of 10 to 15 uses. You made me do 25. 10 to 15 uses <laughs> <laughs> of said item that was not originally attended for. Yeah, I remember doing that. Hey, it's a good exercise. Do 25 if you need to. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And you never even looked at it. Like, nope. I got some good ones too. Okay. You're like, no, I don't want to see it. Okay. <laughs> I don't need it. Um, You're sitting there fuming with an egg on your head. <laughs> uh huh. Like in name cartoons, right? Uh huh. Um,. I was agnostic for many years. Then I found Christianity. I stayed with the Christian faith for about 15 years. I have since came back into the world of paganism. But I feel that my worship of Jesus has offended my pagan deities. How can I make amends? Go back to Christianity? Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> as you can go <laughs> they want you back uh, um i i don't see where deities that offended yeah you might have lost your edge with them and whatever and have to start back at scratch wouldn't jesus be a deity yes so if i'm let's say we're doing hecate for a week and then I go from Hecate to Bridget. Is Hecate mad because I've went to Bridget now? No, she's probably really, really happy for the break. <laughs> Thank <laughs> the God. Thank the gods. Can I please go back to what I was doing? Um, wouldn't it be the same in his case? Uh-huh. It would. Uh deity's not jealous of other deity. No. I don't think. I mean, if you believe it to be so, then that might be your problem. Yeah. Yeah, in my head, they're not. Because I, you know, you use who you got to use sometimes. Yep. Um, is there anything better I can use for? I used to use sage to cleanse my space. It doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> is there anything else that I can use? To cleanse my space that doesn't involve herbs. Uh, yeah. Like what? <laughs> oh, you wanna? You want me to tell you what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I just answering the question. Yeah. Yes. Next question. Yes. Next question. <laughs> and you can use a lot of stuff to clear your space. It doesn't have to be herbal. No, I, you can use a ba bathroom. You can use sound. You can use sound. You can use energy. You can use anything. It doesn't have. I do typically like my herbs, though. When I personally, personally like my herbs. Yeah. But it is not necessary. It's not necessary. Um. But using sage is just. Stupid. And I'm not an I'm not an herbalist, but if I hear one more time about people talking about sage, sage is an insulator. Yes. All right. So if you're feeling negativity, then you use sage. You just sealed that sucker in with you. Yes, you sure did. All right. Just saying. Stop using sage to clear your space. Now, if you're going to use sage, you might want to use something else to cleanse the space. Then smudge it down with sage to keep the energies out and some mm -hmm. of the energies in. But once you got them in, they're going to be in. They're going to stay in. Do you typically use herbs to clear your space? No. Do you clear your space? Yes. Mm-hmm. You just wallow in your own filth, don't you? Your own spiritual filth. You just wallow in it. <laughs> I haven't cleaned it for years. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want me to be honest, in our tradition, we do it once and once only. And then we wallow in it. And then we wallow in it. Mm -hmm. we'll There's mysteries involved in that, why we do it that way and what we do. So... Okay, I've been practicing Wicca for about six years now, and I've never worked with deity because I thought it would insult them. Well, I've been online, I've been in a lot of research, and I hear people talking about how they're working with deity. Is that something that I should be doing? Nah, it's not needed, God. No. We have no. deity and, you know, religion whatsoever. What? Are you, no. What? No. Not needed. What? You're going to offend them by working with them. Is that what no. she said? Yeah. What? Question. What has she been working with then? Oh. Christmas I don't know. You'd have stuff. to ask her. It isn't like, you know, I got all these people on a Rolodex. Wish you did. Oh, the elements. And the elementals is what she said. It's what she works with. Should she be more working with deity? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Depends on how your relationship is with the elementals and such huh, good question um if you've been doing it for six years and all of a sudden you know you want to work with deity what's happening with the relationship with you and the elementals to make you go hmm, maybe i should work with something else if you're really working with them and really bonding with them i think at some point the elementals would go ah it's time for you to move on uh, you know what somebody i go on there and be like if you go to deity now you'll offend the elementals <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh, you too late. You've already screwed up. Is it possible to cast spells unintentionally? Yes. Here's the first answer, the first comment. <laughs> every thought is a prayer and every word is a spell. Yes. If we are working under the assumption that spells have to have a tent and a tent is nothing more than the use of energy, you have to use energy to think of the words, so therefore they have a tent. So yes, words have power. I would agree. Thoughts have power. What's more important, thought or intention? Less intention and less words and more focus. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Because your thoughts can be quite random, but when you start to really focus in on something, Right. The energies get more intense. The more likelihood of casting a spell happens. So be careful with your thoughts. Be careful with, yeah, you know, you I, believe, I believe in Ray Buckland's book. There's something that says there about keeping your words and mind and your, your words and thoughts in order at all times. Yeah. Yes, he does. Was that Ray yeah. Buckland? Yeah. 
It's been so long since I opened that book. I think it's in the 13 Principles of Witchcraft. Yeah, I, that sounds familiar. I know that I've seen that somewhere. I know. Okay. Hmm. You ready for another one? Yeah. Meditation. So, oh. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to say to this one. It's interesting. And it's just for you. So I may be psychic, and a portal has opened up in my basement last night. What the fuck should I do? Close the portal. He immediately cleansed the area because he didn't want the portal to close. But he doesn't want something coming through the portal that he doesn't want in. And... <laughs> oh, my God. I don't... Um, a portal to uh, uh, How big is it? How small is it? Does it really What's matter the size? Can you hear anything? Can you see anything? Can you fall you into it? Yourself? Is it a hole? <laughs> I have questions. Do you want to put a door on it? I smoked it's going to be more of a hobbit door. Is it going to be less of a hobbit door? Are you going to want giant doors? I want details. If you don't want anything to come through it, close it. My question is, is how did it get open to begin with? Well, he's psychic. Yeah. Um, he Close. said, I've shocked myself with what I'm able to achieve. I was in my basement, looked over into the exercise room and saw a huge portal. It was sparking off with electricity coming off the sides. It was oval shaped, black and purple. I feel this is one of the most clear things I've ever seen. I smoked the area, but with didn't close what? it. But I don't want anything coming in. <laughs> what was he smoking? Oh. He doesn't say, but that's a good question. I don't understand. Were, were there drugs involved? Close the portal. It sounds like he was high as a kite to me, going, my God, look how good I am. I've opened up a portal. Mm, I'd close the portal. These are your people. Yours, too. See? You're always dragging me down with you. <laughs> okay, so we're out of coffee. I'm out of coffee. Thank you for listening to Pagan Coffee Talk. I hope you join us next week. We travel down this trodden path, the maze of stone and mire. Just hold my hand as we pass by a sea of blazing fires. And so it is the end of our days, so walk with me till morning breaks. And so it is the end of our days, so walk with me till morning breaks.